Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell and join the family. In this video guys, we're talking about Kim Kardashian Met Gala madness because every year there is Met Gala since Kim is not high up in the pop culture genre anymore. Every year there is Met Gala. Kim keeps consistently pulling off some kind of stunts and that's what we're here to talk about in this video now guys the last video that i did i shared a post from kim's fitness instructor saying that she's back at kim prepping for met gala and so many of you were asking wasn't kim banned from the met gala honey i'm asking the same question because when i did that video saying that the the band versus the invitee there's actually an article out there that is suggesting that Kim did not make it onto the guest list. But also, at the same time, we know that there can be changes um, as time passes. However, there's something I want to bring back to you guys. I want to refresh in your memory as to some of the games that Kim played last year, you know, right before the Met Gala. She basically tried to sway people's opinion and she tried to make things seem more than what she actually, not tried, she actually made things appear to be more than what it was. Let's get into that. If you guys remember, last year, Met Gala was honoring Karl Lagerfeld, right? And his years of contribution to the fashion industry. No. When Met Gala was announced for 2023, one of the first things that we heard was that the Kai Jenners were not on the list because people are just tired of, you know, not just the Kardashians, but like content creators being on the guest list. They wanted more people from the, um, you know, fashion world, like, you know, artists, not content creators, but like musicians, singers, um, actors, actresses. And many people believe that the card the Kai Jenner brand was not given and they're often caught in too many questionable circumstances. Let's leave it at that, right? So because of that, we heard initially from the get-go that, you know, the Kai Jenners weren't on the list. But many of us could have predicted Kendall Jenner being on the list because she's in the fashion world. Automatically, she would have, you know, been invited. No, after that article came out, Kim used the media to tell us basically she is on the guest list. She has already contracted a designer months before that is working on a beautiful number for her and all of that shenanigans. After that article came out, she was at Karl Lagerfeld's home playing with the cat, she pet, and she's given the sense that she was going to wear one of Karl Lagerfeld vintage Chanel pieces. So Kim loves to play these mind games when it comes to the Met Gala. And that's what I want to bring y'all attention to because she did the same Met Madness last year only to show up on the red carpet looking a hot goddamn mess, okay? The dress was falling apart and North gave her a damn good critique of the outfit. North said, the pearls look fake, it looks beachy. So, I mean, from the get-go, she knew that it wasn't going to be a hot hit because if she asked Nord for her opinion, it means that she values the child's opinion and she wanted to have some kind of idea how the public would react. Now, the public basically say the same thing along the line as North did. And especially knowing that the dress was falling off the red carpet and everything, Kim could not lie anymore. And after that, she basically admitted that she did not get an invite to the Met. She actually had to buy her ticket. And remember, it was only Kim, Kendall, and Kylie that showed up at the Met. Because Chloe, Courtney, and Chris was like, hey, no way, I'm going to buy a ticket, right? So the other girls, you know, basically showed up. And Kim admitted that she wasn't invited. So I'm just saying all of that to say this. Remember the stunt that Kim pulled with us last year. She's good at stunts, okay? She's good at stunts. <laughs> yes, I have to emphasize that. She's good at stunts. She's good at telling lies. 
she's good at manipulation. So we're going to see her pulling off a whole lot of med, med madness. And again, I'm going to stick to it just like I stuck to it last year and say, ain't no way Annie's giving this bitch a ticket. Ain't no way, honey. If she ends up being there, she bought her way through. She bought her way through, okay? If she ends up being there because she's not giving and there's a lot of controversy around him and Anna Wintour. But the thing with Anna is that she's very professional. If something is going on between her and Kim, you're not going to hear it from her. You're not going to see it in the media. There might be gossip, gossip here and there about it, but you will not get a word from Miss Anna. But guys, that's all I have to say about that, honey, because I know y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. Just give it some time, okay? Okay, so let me know what are your thoughts while you're at it. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. Stay safe, stay sweet, stay blessed. And see you guys later. Peace.